The River Dee in Scotland begins high up in the heart of the Cairngorms and winds itself through mountains, forests and countryside, all the way down to the coastal city of Aberdeen. I didn't think I would ever need to be praying to the rain gods in Scotland, but I'd been trying every dance, literally under the sun. Prayers answered and adequate rainfall the day before meant we could access the water as high up as my lodge and we were on our way. All right, here we go, the River Dee. Just dropped in at Victoria Bridge, day one. One of the UK's finest rivers, teeming with salmon, wildlife and white water. With a possible 100 km plus of uninterrupted paddling, as long as you're prepared to run the class two and three rapids, puts it high up on the list of rivers I yearn to paddle. With Fred and Eze for company, we would be wild camping en route and allowed ourselves four days to complete the journey. This should give us plenty of time to scout rapids, film and completely immerse ourselves in nature. The River Dee has some formidable rapids on a decent percentage of the river and it would be a challenge to stay upright and keep our equipment safe. And our first notable rapid was approaching. Right, so we've just come to our first proper rapid. Now uh, we're having quite a scout. It's quite a long rapid going under two bridges. So um, yeah, I don't know if it's out in between the two. We'll go for an one but we'll soon find out. Having inspected the rapid, we're going to break into two parts. I'm already out after the first bridge and then uh, assess the second bit. We've already had a look, um, there's quite a lot to remember, it's quite a long stretch of rapid. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. We've both had interesting routes down there. <laughs> There's a couple took me by surprise, you know, when you've got like 20, 30 rocks to compete with, it's hard trying to remember them all, you know. And, uh, had me sideways, but we managed to get straight again uh, for the next section, so that was good. And now we've been out between the bridges. Uh, idea, this is yeah. the big one. I was going to hit that one sideways on. No, no, no. Oh, he's doing it backwards. I oh, know, he's in a bit of difficulty here. Maybe I'll have to spin it around. Well, he got down one way or another. <laughs> I hope. I can't really see he's gone behind the bridge, but yeah, that's my turn. Drop. Come on, rocks. 
say it was elegant, <laughs> but at least it got down. Treat to a rainbow. Uh, it's getting on a little bit now, and uh, we're going to have to find somewhere to camp. Um, I reckon it's getting on for six o'clock, so yeah, the sooner the better. Stop in. <laughs> this might be home for the night. So that one's a no-go. Um, would have been alright if we just had hammocks and threads in the tent. So we need to accommodate all. And uh, yeah, you could see where someone camped there before and it actually looked like they started a bit of a forest fire as well. Yeah. Which is a shame. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head up here a little bit further, making all the rocks here. <laughs> and um, yeah, hopefully find somewhere better. It's a nice little spot here. Someone's already made a bit of a campfire. There's plenty of green bits for a tent and also plenty of hammocking. Prints as well, deer prints. Nice. Right, so we're in camp, got the hammock and tarps up, got beautiful views. Uh, it's been a really good day today. Uh, it was later than I thought, it's like eight o'clock. So uh, we wasn't even meant to be on the water today, but we decided to do a little bit and end up being uh, doing a bit more than we first thought we was gonna do. Uh, yeah, we found an excellent campsite, uh, but now it's time to eat. You want to try this, Paul? This <laughs> <laughs> is Paulie going for the third meal. Yeah. So first. Yeah, yeah this is my first one. That didn't work out. Yeah, very which well. is awful. This one, which is like, it's like the Goldilocks, isn't it? And then the, the real termite all, one's definitely the best. We've all donated our meals to Paul, basically. I'm the human dust. No bin. one likes our food today, and Paul's just taking them all. Yeah. That's one. That's the one. That's the one, right? That's the one. Yeah. Right, so we'll back down, 
had a nice coffee, nice bit of porridge, and uh, it started to drizzle a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we're on the water, and um, yeah, it should be a good day. have gone up a little bit from last night we could see the campsite but um yeah it's still quite a lot quite rocky it's almost impossible to avoid them all The wind's a bit annoying as well, it keeps on uh, changing your head and <laughs> trying to go left and the wind sends you right, so it's got its own ideas. Loads of swallows uh, darting across the water <laughs> as if the rocks uh, are not distracted enough. Ah, stop. <laughs> I got stuck on that one. I can't even paddle, there's no water, is there? No depth to it. That bit was rocky, couldn't even get my paddle in the water. Um, it wasn't deep enough <laughs> to correct myself. Uh, I got stuck on that rock there for a little while, but I had to push myself off with my foot. Sun has got his hat on, the pip pip hooray. The sun has got his hat on and he's coming out to play. Took me by surprise a little bit. Probably, uh, probably would have been worthy of a scout. Definitely should have had a helmet on for it. It's a bit naughty. Stop them something to eat soon. <laughs> that was a 
from. Oh dear. This man is having a bit of difficulty. I went to help him, he was fine. I've taken on quite a bit. This is like not just from that, but that was quite a big drop, weren't it? Lunchtime. Foam, foam terrace, more shoe fungus. Be interesting to see if we could uh, keep that going all night. Right, lunch done, all refueled. Back on the water. This bit's a little bit shallow. Taking a few rocks as I go down. I'm not sure there is a, a right path that you can avoid them all, to be honest with <laughs> I hope you appreciate all these uh, camera angle changes halfway down the rapids. <laughs> this is quite steep, this one. This is a beautiful little area down here. That's fun. Oh, you got a bit wet. <laughs>
mate, so we sent Fred down to go and get some footage of uh, I'm paddling down and he's got into a bit of difficulty. But yeah, we need to get down there and make sure he's all right. But now we can't see him. This bit is very, very rocky. Hopefully we can get to him and uh, not do the same thing. I think he might have been somewhat distracted by the drone. But, you know, had a good recovery to be fair. Done well not to pin it and you know wrap it around that rock because it was sticking up um, a good way, you know, and all that weight of the water which he took in. Uh, yeah, could have been a lot, lot worse. This bit here is so shallow. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh. Oh, I'm coming. Hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. There's like nowhere to go, is there? Just no, there's no water on these rocks. I'm all borderline getting out and walking it to be honest. Ah, nice. Bouncing along the bottom here. Trying to get over to the right hand side of the river. Where is he he's going? Ah shit. But not into him. Come on. He's down. Up. That's a squeeze! <laughs> when you got stuck there, I was like, oh no, I thought it was going to end up ramming you. Oh, no. Keep getting these gusts, it can be quite hard to maintain your line you know you, you, head, you think you're going the right way a bit of wind picked up uh, yeah and before you know it, you're pointing the wrong way <laughs> it's always to catch us Buzzard. <laughs> Another beautiful section river here. There isn't really any let up on this river. <laughs> it's just continuous <laughs> rock avoidance the whole way. This is like a hard three. <laughs> God, that was a bounce and a half. Not to crowd you like that. Got him up quite quickly then. <laughs> Didn't really want to be that close. Uh, I just give him enough space, but yeah, it was getting a bit tight. Comes as eight. bailing out it's because I've got my massive petrol max Dutch oven at the front <laughs> right so we're gonna be looking for a campsite fairly soon um, we want to get into camp quite early today have a bit more time it was a bit rushed yesterday and uh, 
yeah, just relax and chill. We've got plenty of time to do this trip and we're well ahead because it wasn't due to start till this morning anyway. <laughs> We're not stopping here, we're gonna head on for a little bit longer. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna have a snack. Well earned, I think. So we're gonna keep heading down. Um, yeah, there's a couple of islands we've seen on the map, but they're about 10 kilometers, which is a bit further than we wanted to travel. Um, it has only just gone three o'clock. Um, we're going fairly quickly, so it'll probably only take maybe an hour and a half. Um, but we'll all just uh, see, really. Hopefully something comes along sooner, but that's our that's our limit, we've decided. We want to be in camp by half four, five at the latest. Let's get here, that's bumpy. Right, we've made it to our campsite. We're gonna unload the canoes. Yeah, we're gonna go a little way into the wood here and uh, get set up and get cooking. So that's the tarp set up. Now we've got to do the hammock. <laughs> it's a little bit snug on here. So uh, follow me in. And make yourself at home, have a cup of tea. Here you go, look. I'm just get my hang up, hammock up to this ring, which I can't do because I'm holding you, and then pull it tight. Yeah, it's a little bit snug, just about managed to get it fit in here between these two trees in the square configuration. Needs must, we're a bit limited uh, for options. Not limited for trees, but they're just, most of them are just too wide. I can't get the straps around it. Um, so it's got the under quilt to go on here now. And I'll probably put this little outkit uh, mat inside as well because it's going to drop down quite cold tonight. So it's a little bit of extra insulation. Get my sleeping stuff in and then, yeah, look at getting something to eat. So I've put one of these roll mats in here before. They, they can slide around quite a bit. This one does have two layers to keep it in place, but they still slide around. With this mat here, it doesn't really slip around too much because it's flimsy enough and square enough. It actually stays in there uh, pretty well. And now the under blanket. Sleeping bag, pipe dream 400. Uh, it's gonna drop down to minus one, which is kind of the limit for me in this sleeping bag, I think, comfort level really. Uh, so as well as this, I've also got a little down quilt. <laughs> and this one is the Alpgate cloud cover. It just boosts it, you know, effectively makes it uh, four season. I had this on last night and last night was a bit warmer. I think it went down to about two degrees, but if anything, I was a little bit too warm. And a pillow. Cheers, Eddie. Nice. Bye. A little bit spicy, but that's okay, right? So we're just going to use the little firebox there. We decided, and uh, we're going to bake some bread. <laughs> so we're in a coniferous forest. We've got loads of water there to douse with afterwards. We're going to lay down a nice little bed here of uh, stone, and we're packing little gaps of sand uh, to put on top and make cleaning up easy and uh, eliminate the risk of um, getting carried away.
45 minutes, 180 degrees. Cheers, buddy. Good day. <laughs> Disaster. <laughs> it is what uh, it is, man. It is what it is. The top bit's edible, just don't yeah, need the base. Exactly. You tried, man. Give yourself some credit. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's fine. It's all it's right. perfect, man. What's yeah, wrong with that? Perfect. Yeah. It's just perfect. don't look at that bit that's left in there. Look at that, man. That's amazing. <laughs> Hmm. That's good. <laughs> Come with a big bit. Come with a big bit, man. Go for it, man. Rock in the middle. Right, we've just been to scout this rapid and uh, we think we know where we're going. Well, we do know where we're going <laughs> down it. And uh, yeah, it's quite a big one, so it's worthy of a scout. And uh, yeah, stick around. Oh. 
Oh, my heart is pumping, man. It's a big drop this one. Go slightly right at that bit, and obviously, water had other plans for me. <laughs> Man, I've got a lot of water in here. Look at this <laughs> floating in it. All right, so we didn't wrap it out of the way. So, the next one's a uh, pot arc, which is a good, uh, good distance down here. It'll be a little while yet before we get there. Um, I'm sure there'll be some smaller ones on the way though. I'm going right. I'll race you to the bottom. Right. He's going to go left. I'm going to go right around this island. I'm going to race him to the bottom. I mean, neither way looks great. Although his is dropping off quite quick. So it makes me think I'm going to have some sort of drop off as well. A little bit further down. That's quite fast down there. I think I might win this one. He could have come down here already, surely. They must be in the lead. Where are they? Flashed them. <laughs> Loads of these little bits of water keep coming into the river and filling it up. You can see why it goes up and down so quick. You know, we've been monitoring the levels quite closely before we came. And uh, yeah, touch and go how far up we could actually get in. And then like, the day before, it just it went up significantly. Um, yeah, so we were quite lucky, really. And it has dropped off a little bit, but we've done the, uh, the most of the shallower bits now. So uh, from Bankery onwards, it'll be quite, uh, it shouldn't really be too much of an issue. So we've passed quite a few fishermen on this trip, um, probably getting on for 20 now I would say, um, scattered along uh, the river, uh, obviously not on Sunday because Sunday uh, no fishing allowed, but yeah most of them have been really good actually, they've all been quite polite, give us a wave, been friendly, uh, we've only had one grumpy one, <laughs> who um, he didn't say anything to me, he just stared at me, and then he said to Fred, oh can't you go behind me, but he was stood in about half a foot of water, so it wasn't really uh, practical to do so. <laughs> spot for some lunch. Getting pretty hungry so why not? Alright, lunch done and back on the water.
Can't park that there. He hasn't really got any in his look. Wow, that was good fun. <laughs> I agree with that. Uh, we've now got four kilometers of easy rapids, uh, Fred was just saying. So, but it is getting on, it's about five o'clock, so we're gonna have to be looking for somewhere to stop fairly soon. It's better to keep your eyes peeled early. Uh, the later it gets, the more desperate you get. sun's come out now <laughs> it's still a bit windy uh, but yeah it's really quite pleasant it's like the whole river along here is dedicated to fishing just fishing huts and fishing pegs all the way along the side <laughs> it doesn't let up <laughs> Wind is taking me places, I don't necessarily want to go. We found a spot, not really at all what we wanted, but it's getting late. And uh, we, we did look at another spot a little bit higher up, which is probably better. But we gambled it for this place and it hasn't really paid off but it'll be all right we'll get in there it's just close to a service track to the fishing beats which is obviously not ideal but that's uh you know it's the best we can do tonight i'm afraid
There he is. We were just debating uh, earlier whether anyone had used this campsite before well. and we found a whole stash of beers <laughs> in a dry bag. <laughs> nice stuff as well, brew dog. It's not even a cheap stuff, is it? Well, I'll though, take one, we, I'll take one. We, we, we well, yeah. take one. <laughs> one each. We can, we can at most. I think they would appreciate if we yeah. just take one. Yeah. yeah. You know? All right, we're breaking down camp, getting the canoes back to the water, resupplied on beer, <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, soon be on the water, and we'll be coming up on Bankery soon. Branch. All right, before I was interrupted by that branch, uh, yeah, so it should be fairly gentle paddle, really, into Bankery next, and then uh, onwards, and into Aberdeen, although I'm still expecting uh, a few little bits of white water, hopefully. Back on the water. Here we go. Right, so we're going to go out and inspect this one. Looks like it's probably pretty straightforward, but we can't see around the corner or what's at the bottom of it, so we're going to play it safe. So here we are, look. Definitely worthy of an inspect. There's a few little boulders there that could definitely catch you out. Uh, the plan is to come down here on the river right and then you can't really see it from here there's a couple of little nasty boulders there and then uh, just follow it down as long as you stick roughly to the right uh, we should be all right all right so volunteers go first on this one get get stream get a bit of a run up here we go Another one to inspect. Probably can't see it very well through the trees. I'm at the bottom half of the rapid now. Uh, it's just big waves, <laughs> mainly. There's a bit of a rock at the top. Uh, can't really see through there. There you go, so right at that big rock there. And then just follow it down the right and into the middle. Warm my swimming goggles.
a twisty one. Oh, got the hips moving. Nice little spot. We're going to stop here, have a bite to eat, maybe a cup of tea. Little island. A little bit of mint growing here as well. Lunch done. Um, I think we worked out we've probably got somewhere in the region about 18 kilometers to where we want to be tonight. Yeah, it's probably about two o'clock, just gone two o'clock. So, uh, yeah, hopefully. Shouldn't take too long as long as the river doesn't slow down, we don't get any more headwinds. I can hear some moving water up ahead. Quite a peaceful paddle along here, it's quite nice. Make a nice little change as well from the constant rock avoidance. So there's two islands that we're uh, considering for camping on tonight that we've seen on the map. We're just about to come off on the first one. And the second one's more desirable because it leaves us in a better position for tomorrow morning and our extraction. The force to bring these whole trees down river. Definitely wouldn't be ideal for a tent on here really, not this bit anyway. Maybe a hammock, but I think they're going to want to press on anyway. And I quite agree actually. The river really widens out here. Maybe a bit shallow. Right, so we're not too far away from the campsite now. Scenery starting to change as well. We're starting to see some houses as we approach Aberdeen. Uh, it's about four o'clock now, so we should be in camp quite early. And hopefully, if we can, I'd like to cook up some cornbread tonight for the guys and a chili as well. We'll say that we're all going to share. So that'd be a good, uh, good way to spend the last night, especially if we're going to wash it down with some free beer. <laughs> See the water just rushes through here and it just gets everything stuck in amongst all these trees. It don't look great inside there. We're going to continue around the island a little bit further. Loads of rams and here mixed in on this little island. And these ones here. This is my, uh, the whole plant's edible. You can see the leaf there. And you have this ridge down the back, which is quite a distinguishing feature. Uh, but my favorite bit for me, grab the flower and just gently pull it and then hope Hopefully it snaps off a little bit lower than that. You can just pull the whole thing out, but that white bit there. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. Right, so that island was a no-go. Um, we could have stayed there, but it's, it's like a plantation with a load of flood water go through it. It doesn't particularly have a nice feeling. And we're just too close to town now. You can hear roads and uh, the airport and stuff. And a couple of other factors. We've all just decided that, you know what, we can finish this in a couple of hours. So we're going to finish it today. We're going to head into uh, the rest of the way into Aberdeen and uh, yeah, a couple of hours and we'll be done. So I guess the cornbread and the chilli is going to have to wait for another time. I had mixed emotions as we approached the city. People, buildings, shops, traffic, smells and noise grounded you back to reality. Don't get me wrong, I was happy we'd completed our journey and what we had achieved. Great memories, adventure, and the experience gained. It had only been four days, but the absence of what we all take for granted make you appreciate what you have. Of course I was looking forward to my creature comforts and seeing my family, but I craved the escapism, the brief reconnection with nature. But I knew I would be back soon on another adventure. <laughs> Made it! Aberdeen Boat Club, 100 kilometers, class threes, We've all learned so much. All right, all right, it's my channel, not yours. <laughs>